Kamichibai no Hajimari Hajimari. Let's begin Kamishibai. The Goblin, the Water Imp, and the Thunder God. A Kamishibai. Long, long ago, in a certain place, there was a mountain. At the foot of the mountain was a pond, and next to the pond stood a tall cedar tree. In the pond lived a greedy water imp named Kapadon. In the cedar tree lived a bossy, long-nosed goblin named Tengudon. And in the clouds over the mountain, lived a rowdy thunder god named Kaminaridon. One day, a charcoal maker named Tobe came tramping along. Tramp, tramp, the sun is shining. Tramp, tramp, tromp. Tramp, tramp, the sun is shining. Tramp, tramp, tromp. When Tobe got close to the pond, he heard Capadon, the water imp, calling him from the water. Toby, the charcoal maker, stop right there! Yes, sir. What can I do for you? You have a little boy whose nose is always running, don't you? I love to eat the ears of children like him, flavored with just a little salt. So bring me his ears by noon tomorrow. If you don't, you'll be very sorry. Now don't forget, Toby, by noon tomorrow. Oh, what should I do? But the water imp is right. My boy's nose is always running. And when I try to wipe it, he runs away. Oh, but what will become of him if the water imp eats up his ears? Oh dear, what should I do? Tramp, tramp, what should I do? Trimp, tramp, tromp. Tramp, tramp, I wish I knew. Trimp, tramp, tromp. Tobe plodded along wearily until he came to the cedar tree. Tobe, the charcoal maker, stop right there! It was Tengudon, the long-nosed goblin, calling down to him from the cedar tree. Uh, yes, sir. What can I do for you, sir? Your little boy is a crybaby, isn't he? I love to eat the cheeks of children like him, pickled in miso. So bring me his cheeks by noon tomorrow. If you don't, you'll be very sorry. Now don't forget, Tobe, by noon tomorrow. Zawa, Zawa. Oh no, what should I do? <coughs> but the goblin is right. My son cries at any little thing, and is always whining when he is hungry. But what will become of him if the goblin takes his cheeks and pickles them in miso? Oh, oh dear, what should I do? Tramp, tramp, what should I do? Trimp, tramp, tromp. Tramp, tramp, I wish I knew. Trimp, tramp, tromp. Tobe trudged along sadly until he reached the top of the mountain. Tobe, the charcoal maker, stop right there. It was Kaminaridon, the thunder god, bellowing down at him from high up on a cloud. Uh, uh, yes, sir. What can I do for you, sir? Your little boy sleeps without covering up his tummy, doesn't he? I love to eat the belly buttons of children like him. Oh, that's very interesting. Do you like them sprinkled with salt or pickled in miso? Are you crazy? Everyone knows that belly buttons taste best boiled in soya sauce. So bring his belly button to me by noon tomorrow. If you don't, you'll be very sorry. Now don't forget, Tobe. Noon tomorrow. <laughs> What am I going to do? 
but the Thunder God is right. My son always says it's too hot and kicks off his covers. His tummy is never covered when he sleeps. But what will become of him if the Thunder God takes his belly button and boils it in soy sauce? Oh dear, what should I do? Tobey the charcoal maker returned to his home that evening feeling very glum. Daddy! It was Tobey. Tobey's son, Tohei. Why do you look so sad, Daddy? Well, you see, Tohei, Kapadon the greedy water imp, Tengudon the bossy goblin, and Kaminari Don the rowdy thunder god ordered me to bring your ears and your cheeks and your belly button to them by noon tomorrow. Tohei just smiled and said to his father, Is that all, Daddy? Don't worry, just leave everything to me. When the sun came up the next morning, Tohei left the house and began to climb the mountain cheerfully. Tramp, tramp, the birds go cheap. Tramp, tramp, tromp. Tramp, tramp, the mountain deep. Tramp, tramp, tromp. When Tohei got to the pond, he called out, Oh, Mr. Water Imp, the ear muncher, where are you? Mm, he's here already! Capadon the water imp raised his head out of the water, grinning mischievously. Uh, Mr. Water Imp, I think my ears have a cold. Would you mind waiting for them until noon tomorrow? Hmm, I shouldn't take a chance. I could catch the cold too if I eat them now. Okay, I'll give you one more day. To make it easier for you to find them, I'll wrap them in some black cloth and leave the bundle on top of the mountain. Come and pick them up there, okay? All right, I'll be looking for them. Well, goodbye, Mr. Water Imp. Now, Mr. Goblin, the cheek nibbler, where are you? The goblin appeared from among the branches of the cedar tree, grinning slyly at the boy. Well, well, just what I've been waiting for. Um, Mr. Goblin, my cheeks are sagging a little today, so please give me until noon tomorrow. Well, oh, he probably stuffed too much food in them, and they stretched out of shape. Okay, I'll give you one more day. When I come back tomorrow, I'll signal in a loud voice. Be sure to come when I call. Okay, I'll be waiting. Well, goodbye, Mr. Goblin. Now for the belly button eater. Mr. Thunder God, where are you? The Thunder God stuck his head out of the clouds, grinning smugly at the boy. Up here, I've been waiting for you. Um, Mr. Thunder God, my belly button is too dirty to give to you today. But I'll wash it tonight in the bath, so please give me until noon tomorrow. Hmm. Even if I boil it in soy sauce, a dirty belly button won't taste very good. Okay, I'll give you one more day. I'll leave it by the pond so it will be easy for you to find. Be sure to pick it up there. Okay, I'll be looking for it. See you tomorrow. When noon came around the next day, Capadon the water imp looked up from inside the water of the pond and saw a dark cloud hanging over the mountain. That must be the black cloth containing the boy's ears! He was so excited that he suddenly stuck his head out of the water. And when Kami Don, the thunder god, who was sitting up in that black cloud, saw the bald spot on top of the water imp's head, he shouted for joy. Ooh, there's the belly button! Ha ha ha! Rumble, rumble, rumble! When Tengu Don, the goblin, heard the thunder rumbling, he jumped down from his cedar tree. That's the signal! I'm off! Well, the three creatures headed straight for each other, and what a racket they made! Crash, bang, smash! Sparks went flying! Ah, ah, it's hot and burning up! I've got a big bump on my head! In the end, the water imp, the goblin, and the thunder god all ran off in tears. And that is the story of how little Tohei 
and how he outsmarted Capadon the greedy water imp, Tangudon the bossy long-nosed goblin, and Kaminadigon the rowdy thunder god. <laughs> Thank you.